Yo guys, it's Footmaster here, back with another video, and today is going to be episode 6 of the Nothing to Something Road to Glory series. Now today's episode isn't a massive one, but yesterday's was a huge one, so go check that out, link in the description. And what I mean by not a massive one is, yes, there were really major changes, as you can tell by the title, but it's not a long episode, there's going to be longer ones coming soon. There's not going to be any gameplay in this video because I've obviously changed my team completely. But yeah, there will be soon with this new team, so don't worry about that. But yeah, let's get into the video. So as you can see here, we're finally listing up Tony. He was an iconic player of this series, the first walkout we packed on the series in our literally our second pack. And as you can see here with Nkunku, I was like basically invested in players that were getting team of the week. As you can see, I bought Nkunku for 750 and I listed him up for 4k, but unfortunately he went straight back down to like 1.4. But that's still doubling my coins on two Nkunkus there, which is pretty solid. And also Zakaria, I had in the club, I packed him and he was worth about 5k. I kept him for about a day and because he got in team of the week, he went up to 10k for a bit. And I sold him for 10k and he sold, which was pretty sick as well. So yeah, I made a lot of money from these investments. And as you can see here, we did grind the early access objective. This did take quite a while. It was quite a long time. And to be honest, I didn't even know what the pack was. Like I literally just said early access pack. So I thought, why not grind it? Hopefully it's going to be something good, the reward. And we do actually manage to pack someone who goes into the team, which is pretty sick. And yeah, we do open this trash gold pack first. No one needs to see that. Just a bog standard gold pack, to be fair. And yeah, the moment you've been waiting for, the early access pack, you get a lone team of the week, which is pretty pointless. And you get a player pick, which is 80 to 84 rated. So there are some mad players you can get in this for starter squads. And we do open it and we do manage to get Antonio Rudiger, which is very nice. He fits perfectly in the team and he also upgrades the defense a lot. He's worth about a bit less than 14k. So yeah, very solid player to get. And he strengthens the defense in our team. Now here I decided to get the 100 finesse goals in squad battles beginner for a 50k pack untradeable. Now this did take quite a while as well. It took about four games to do. It wasn't too, it wasn't hard obviously, but it was just a bit long. So yeah, I hope this paid off obviously because it was quite a grind to be honest. I didn't want to do it on early access because that would have wasted up like an hour of the time. But yeah, we do go ahead and open it. And unfortunately, it's not a walkout. French, Cam, Fekir, not great at all. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a very nice card. Doesn't fit the team, though. So he's going to be a very nice super sub. However, for that much, like, time spent, that is pretty awful for a 50k pack. And as you can see here, guys, we have sold Ivan Tony and the Nkunkus, Zakaria, that silver guy used for Renato. And then some position modifiers and chem styles. So we made a lot of coins from that. And yeah, guys, this is where I made a mistake. I opened a 75 to 83 pack. I saw, I thought it was one player in a pack. So I opened it, got a Serbi. Little did I know, I stopped recording at this point and then Babu was behind him. So that was dumb. I should have not done that and I should have recorded the whole pack. But we managed to get Babu behind him, who's 22k which is insane for a 79 and yeah we do try fit him in the team as you can see experimenting with Baku who isn't great so we change him out and then we experiment and then we think why not just get Lacroix like he is a rat and he's cracked we do experiment with keepers as well like who will link to who Eduard Mendy gets the chem for Rudiger and yeah, Lacroix is going to be bought this episode. A very massive purchase for the Road to Glory. Now he is about 38, 40k. And we do go ahead and try to snipe him with the Shadow Chem Star. Because if we lose coins on him, that will boost his value up by like 4k. Because the Shadow is 4k. So yeah, this really doesn't take long. It takes like 2 minutes to get him for about 2k cheaper with a Shadow. Which is a bit mad. And yeah, we do go ahead and get him for 38k. A very solid buy and a very, very good card. We also go ahead and buy Helson Martins for the team. I remember this guy last year in FIFA and he was so cracked. So I'm looking forward to using him this FIFA. And he's only like 2.8k, which is like 
amazing for the links to Renato Sanchez as well. Eduard Mendy as well, who's literally a K. Keeper's a keeper at the end of the day. Apparently he's cracked in game though. So I'm looking forward to using him as well. And hopefully he saves a lot of shots in games because keepers are cracked this year. And yeah, that is the team guys. What a team for the first week of FIFA 22. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. Sorry it wasn't too long. There'll be longer ones coming soon. Also, go check out my socials. I post exclusive content like this. The player of the month predictions for the Prem. And also, the ones to watch Team 1 team has been leaked. So tomorrow I'll be streaming 5pm on YouTube. Be there. I'm going to be opening my marquee matchups packs. My ones to watch guaranteed from the Ultimate Edition and lots more. And yeah, peace.